A few months ago, I came up with these little uh, micro USB breakout boards. I needed, uh, I needed to kind of mount um, uh, USB sockets into projects, and uh, I wanted an easy way to do it. So they're really, really hard to solder to. So I came up with this tiny little board, and you can see um, it's, there's one kind of hidden inside this project here and it's shaped so you can kind of push the USB connector through the panel and so that's fine and uh, these are kind of working it's worked quite well and I've decided to start selling them on Tindy and I've been producing a, a, a pretty small quantity but I'm testing each one to kind of check the output voltages make sure things kind of correct and functional and I was looking for kind of a quicker better way of doing that a more reliable way of doing that and what they typically kind of do within the industry is they'll kind of build a test jig, something a board can kind of, uh, kind of clip into or push into, and it runs a kind of a barrage of tests against it to confirm it, it works as expected. And so I've made a, um, a very simple little adapter here. There's a little kind of trinket board on the end here, and I've got a uh, one of the kind of USB breakouts here, but unpopulated. And to it, I've uh, attached pogo pins. And a pogo pin is basically just a metal pin with a sprung end in it. And so it means if you've got multiple connections to make, you don't need to be, with these they'll all kind of adjust so you get a, a good connection all around. So the idea being, then there's bolts here for locating. The board you're testing kind of clips over and rest against there and you give it a little bit of pressure and it all makes contact. And so what it's doing in this case is it's applying 5 volts to the 5 volt line that then runs through the voltage regulator and 3.3 volts comes out to one of the analog inputs on the device and it just measures the voltage. And at the moment I'm just using the little onboard LED indicator to reflect the status. So if I uh, plug this in The red light there is uh, meant to indicate status, and uh, solid red is good, and flashing red is kind of out of bounds. And so this board here is a kind of a known good one. If I place that into there, the board powers up, and we get a solid red light. And so you can confirm that works. The other test will be to connect a USB cable to this, but then you can verify that works by looking at the status of the light. And the other board goes on. See so the LED is flashing. This is a, a known faulty one. The voltage regulator isn't outputting, and um, it's kind of things outputting a fair bit under in this case. And so it's a quick way to see that okay, that's faulty. I'll put that one to one side and move on. And so this is a, a really kind of a simple little adapter. Can the the idea for this kind of came from a SparkFun post they did on making similar products or devices. And when I started testing these, I thought I'd have a go knocking one together. For something like this, where all I'm doing is testing a voltage or maybe uh, triggering an input, then all you need is this kind of setup. It is really simple and, and it works uh, kind of pretty well. So far, it's uh, been very useful for this.